Franklin's doing this weird thing where he's like putting his head up and licking his nose. What's wrong with you, Franklin? Franklin's a weirdo! Franklin's a cutie. He's wearing no pants! If you're watching this, comment down below Team Franklin. One day, Hubert was walking through a nice green patch of grass. He stopped and thought to himself, I'm getting all sweaty because of all this swag I'm spilling out my tortoise shell. I think I must stop by the tortoise spa. Yo, human slave. Make sure that towel is just right. Oh, and I only chill in warm bottled water. Hubert the tortoise said. Now pick me up, human. Oh yeah, baby. Yo, I'm getting hungry down here. Throw me some weeds, bro. Munch, munch. What the F? These weeds are gross, said Hubert. I'm done. Take me out and feed me, lady. Make sure to dry under my legs. Would you like to try out tortoise special? Said the worker. Yeah, throw it at me, said Hubert. E.W. O.M.G. Nasty. I'm getting out of this joint. Hubert said. Wait, said the worker. Try this weed. I think you will like it. Yum. 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 Now this is some lit weed. The end. What is up, Sky Squad? Welcome back to the vlog channel. I'm starting to feel better. I'm not as sick as I was, so that's a good thing. Uh, girl the horse is gonna get shooed today um she was supposed to get shooed thursday which was two days before we evacuated so she's up for shooing she needs to get shooed that's what we're doing right now <laughs> so girl got shooed today and now nicole's riding her um, she did okay, kind of was kind of mad at the end, but it was it could have been worse. It wasn't too bad, but now I'm so bad. She's all fed, ready for green. Hey, watch us open this gate. Watch us as we open the gate. Watch. She's a boss gate opener. Watch girl open the gate. She knows how to? Maybe. And I have to unlock it. What? Yeah, she lets me. I don't know, this gate looks pretty low, actually. This gate looks low. I can't reach that one. How's she doing? I go, I reach it. This one's too low, physically. But the other gate over there, we unlocked it. She, she was like a reigning horse. She got so close to it. Guys, I have no idea. Like, the bugs out here, like there was a crab that had like, like I don't even know what it was, it was a crab spider thing in the trees. Like being from Cali, it's kind of in Boston, like originally from Boston, but four years of my life in Cali and like I haven't seen any of this stuff. Good morning Sky Squad, it's the next morning and um, we decided that we're just gonna get the F out of Georgia. I just looked at the GPS and we're actually, there's not that much traffic, so we're just gonna go. Uh, we have a vet coming, so apparently, when we evacuated, they waived the health cert. So a horse needs a health certification in order to um, cross state boundaries. Borders. Well, they waived it. So in order for us to get back into Florida, we need a health certificate. So a vet's gonna come out today, this afternoon, um, in about two hours, and get and give us the health cert. So yeah, on top of like the horse's ride, she's only gonna she's going straight away to where she, she was boarded at. <laughs> We have to drive down the other side of Florida, leave our bus, and then drive across the freaking state again. The reason why we store our bus on the other side of the coast of Florida is because where we live in like the Palm Beach area, like the Wellington area, is freaking insane for any type of, since there's WEF there, it's the Winter Equestrian Festival, 
everything's hiked up in price, like insane. Like we're we're saving like three hundred dollars just by like every month, just by having our RV on the other side of Florida. So yeah, that's why, that's why we do it. It's whatever. It's whatever. It's pain in my ass, but it's whatever. So mini Dover haul. It's cute. The people at Dover, they recognize me. Okay, so we have these fleece things so she doesn't cut her face. What? what? And then we have a new halter. <laughs> Hopefully it fits, it's a cob. In her horse size halter that was nylon, she was swimming in it. So I'm really hoping this is gonna fit. Jay has something to say. Spend that shit. Spend that shit and get it right back. We've been spending that shit like crazy. And you know what? We get it right back. Shout out to whoever sings the rap that song because that is true. So girl just had her veterinary exam for her health cert. She passed her health cert, although something weird. Okay, I wrote her yesterday, nothing was wrong with her. And I didn't groom her yet, she was, we just fed her uh, AM breakfast. So we take her out of the stall and the vet looks at her stomach and she has these like giant like, like bulges and like inflammation and like giant inflammation like on her um, her like lower abdomen and like bumps everywhere. So she's having in, we, what we think it is, um, I have medicated shampoo now. She's having an allergic reaction to something. I don't know if it's the shavings or it's something, I don't know. So yeah, that was totally, totally shocking to me. Um, I'll keep you guys updated on that. So now we're moving on to a more touchier topic. Something happened recently in the past couple days and it's crazy. It's crazy, it's crazy. Pootie Pie, if you don't know who he is, if you're on YouTube, you probably know who he is. He's like the the biggest YouTuber, or the YouTuber that has the most subscribers now. He pulled the Tana Mojo and he said the N-word with a hard R. <sighs> Ooh! So he did this live streaming while he was live streaming and I think that he instantly regretted it. I, it slipped out of his mouth. And it instantly, he was like, shh, like he knew he was in trouble instantly and he was probably freaking out. So I'm going to talk about my opinion. I would love for you guys to share your opinions down below. Let's start a conversation down below. I don't think it's ever okay to say any type of racial slurs. Do I think that PewDiePie is a racist? I really don't think that he's a racist. Um, I think what he did is going to follow him for a very long time, if not the rest of his career. And like he said in his response video, he cannot keep making these mistakes. When you have so many people looking up to you, so many people seeing you as like an idol, you can't keep repeatedly doing racist stuff. I mean, this is the second time he's done it now. I mean, he's he's lucky enough that people are so forgiving about it right now. I mean, he's getting some hate, but a lot of it isn't hate. The way he said it with the R and it wasn't like the uh at the end. You know, the one of them's friendly, one of them's more racist. It's funny because me growing up in California, we were always so diverse. There was no, there was not a lot of racism. But coming to the South, I see like these racist ass old white people all the time. And like even I see, I see like black people who hate white people too. Like people, like, like I see it more in the South than I ever have um, in California. If that makes any sense, I don't know. And I think that those people are real racists. Like, those people have hatred deep down in their blood. They legitimately hate other people because of the color of their skin, which is absolutely ridiculous because nobody chooses to be a certain color. Nobody chooses to be a certain gender. Why would you waste extra energy just to hate someone? Love goes so much farther in your heart. Having love for everyone, if you're gay, straight, black, white, and I honestly feel bad for people who truly hate other people for no reason at all besides cosmetic crap because they physically can't be happy as a person if you carry so much hate inside of your heart. Like, like I, I'm the most happy I've ever been right now even though I'm in Georgia and I'm like 600 miles and my horse just got freaking inflammation and stuff like I am legitimately happy and I love everybody truly all the same and it feels so good like it feels and I feel bad for people who can't experience like how I feel money aside money like a lot of money no money happiness starts with yourself and I'm getting really 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 off topic what I'm basically trying to say was I don't think that PewDiePie is a 
hateful racist. I think that what he did was absolutely wrong, and I think it'll always follow him for the rest of his career, but I don't think that he's some crazy, horrible, bad guy, and I think that he made a huge, huge mistake. <laughs> So that's my opinion on Pootie Pie right now with the situation. I'd love to hear your guys' opinion. And if you made it this far, comment. I love sunflower seeds in the comment section down below. All right, guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. I think we're going to be going home soon. I'll keep you guys updated. All right, love you guys. See you in my next vlog. Bye.